Myopia is a looming epidemic. We are talking about half the world's population being short-sighted by the year 2050. One-fifth of the world's population will have high myopia. And with high myopia comes a risk of permanent blindness from cataract, glaucoma and damage to the retina, which is the sensor layer at the back of the eye. Which is why optometrist Luke Arundel is focused on identifying short-sightedness early. Myopia is caused by three main things. It's the amount of near work or close focusing that kids do. It is the years that they spend in education and it's a lack of time being spent outside in bright light. When we think about it, if you can't see the board at school, obviously that's going to affect school grades. If you can't see, for instance, across an oval, that affects sports performance. And some researchers have even found that myopia, and particularly undiagnosed myopia, leads to a lower quality of life for these kids. Uh, they're missing out on a lot of what the world has to offer. Squinting, eye rubbing, bumping into things, or complaining of headaches are telltale signs of myopia. But research shows that if kids spend two hours outside every day, it can delay the onset and progression of the condition. Other things that can help is breaks with screen work and, and reading books, so no more than half an hour at a time. We also suggest the elbow rule, so it's important not to be holding things too close. So they simply put their fist on their uh, chin, uh, book or screen on their elbow, don't want them holding it any closer than that. The second part that's really important for parents to understand is that if their kids have been diagnosed with myopia, optometrists now have a range of treatments um, and techniques that we can use to slow the progression of myopia. These things include uh, a medicated eye drop called atropine. We have specially designed contacts and glasses glasses that use enhanced optics to change the way that light is focused on the back of the eye. So Grace, what kind of colours do you think you might want? Um, I think blue. Okay. Excellent. Kids often don't realise they have a vision problem. They just assume that everyone sees the world the same way that they do. And many don't realise that the world isn't supposed to be a blurry place. So it's really important for kids to be getting a check before school and then regularly as they progress through the school years so that we can detect myopia and lock it down before it starts to have those negative lifestyle effects.